In June of 1995, Rasmus Leerdorf released version 1 of PHP, at the time standing for Personal Homepage, and he was the sole developer. This remained the same up until the version 3 release in 1998, when multiple developers joined in. PHP 3 was the start of the inclusion of object-oriented code, though very limited. PHP 4, when released in 2000, added many features and bug fixes better suiting itself for use in the corporate world. In our current state, in version 5.5, we've seen growth in leaps and bounds in the language. Hugely improved object-oriented code capabilities, exceptions and error handling, namespacing and traits all serve to make PHP one of the most powerful languages on the web today. In our course today, I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of the language, ranging from simple statements to looping constructs. Let's get started by looking at the basic usage in code. So to get started with workspaces, the first thing you want to do is click on the button to the right of the video that says Launch Workspace. Once you've launched a workspace, you should see what I see. Now let's give a quick overview of what's going on here in the workspaces view. Uh, workspaces is a editor that we've created here at Treehouse for you to use to help you sort of get started with a language without having to do a lot of installation on your local computer. Uh, on the left hand side here, you'll see the column that has our PHP Basics folder and some files that we've already pre-created for you and included in this workspace. Uh, none of these files should be outside the ordinary for you. It's a folder for our CSS, so we have several style sheets here. We have a couple of images, which we'll get to here uh, eventually, and then an index.html file. If you click on the index.html file, the editor is a full editor on the right-hand side, so full highlight capabilities, editing, syntax highlighting for HTML, because it's currently an HTML file. Um, you're able to create new files, new folders, uh, edit files. There's full saving, uh, undoing, redoing, everything you would expect from a full editor uh, right here in your browser using Treehouse Workspaces. If you want to see the file that you're currently working on at any time, you simply go over to the little eye icon over on the far upper right-hand corner, click on it, and it will actually launch your previewed site as it is coded right now in Workspaces. So you'll see here you get your own custom URL, which is accessible from anywhere, and then the output of the code. So you'll see here we have a little profile page with Mike the Frog, a couple of buttons, a little bit of a description, and a let's get started text. If we switch back over to Workspaces, we can actually see that in code. So you'll see here we've got Mike the Frog as our title. So if we switch back over, You'll see Mike the Frog Treehouse is our title here on the tab. Uh, you'll also see that if you go down, we have an avatar image. We have Mike the Frog and an H1 tag. So all of this is represented exactly as you wrote it in Workspaces in the preview. So this means with a preview, at any time, you can edit your uh, code here. So we'll just edit this H1 tag that says Mike the Frog, and we'll just make it Mike Frog. Uh, save it with Command S or File Save. Uh, then we simply switch back over to our preview and hit refresh. And now it will say Mike Frog instead of Mike the Frog. So in order for PHP to interpret our file on the server side and for us to know that we're going to be using PHP, we're going to have to rename this file here, index.html, to index.php so that we know we're using the PHP interpreter. So let's do that by right-clicking on the file and hitting rename. We simply change the extension from HTML to PHP. Now, in order to test that this is still working as we expect, we're just going to go ahead and refresh our preview. So switch back over to our preview and hit refresh. Everything is still the same, uh, so we know we're still good to go. Switch back over to our code. And then let's take a look at our first little bit of PHP code. Uh, we typically do that in any language with a hello world. So we'll do that now inside of our section here. We'll drop down and add another paragraph tag. So in order to open up a PHP code block, we're going to start with the less than symbol, followed by a question mark, then the lowercase letters PHP, a space, and then to close the block, we do the opposite. So question mark, greater than symbol. So now we have a PHP code block. And in order to echo or to display some text, we simply use the echo keyword then a set of quotes. So we'll do two double quotes. And inside, we'll write, hello, comma, world. 
Let's save this file and switch back over to our preview and see what this looks like. Hit refresh, and now you'll see hello world. But if you were to inspect the element and take a look at the HTML code, you'll see it's simply a string for hello world, no PHP code at all. What this means is that when we wrote our code inside of this code block, we're saying, don't put this directly in HTML. We want to send it to the server, interpret it with the PHP interpreter on the server, and then return back to us when we display our code in HTML. So we have PHP in our file that's now living on the server, and then when we refresh, we get HTML, hello world.